Sugar, sugar, who can I turn to? What's up, guys? This video is going to be on sugaring. Um, sort of. It's going to be about more about the exploitation of individuals and people. What men and women think about, you know, the, the opposite sex and their resources. Now, for all of you who have been following for a while, I've been posting a lot of um, TikTok videos, clips about the subject. There's some, just, there's just some amazing creators, stuff that I'm not creative enough to duplicate on my own. So I've been posting a lot of that. So I hope you guys have been enjoying. Um, I, I'm trying to, you know, cover all areas of interest, which would be um, uh, evolutionary psychology, gender dynamics, uh, investing, um, cryptos. Um, you know, things of that nature, tiny houses, uh, retirement. I like all these things. So that's why I make these videos. Anyways. So, uh, I came across this article this morning on sugaring. Um, and the title was called sugaring revelation. Um, sugaring has made me less trusting in relationships. Now, if you guys don't know, that's kind of an oxymoron. If you don't know what sugaring is, Sugaring is, I've never seen it in the reverse, so I'm just going to tell you what I know it to be. Um, sugaring is, a, there's some site, I think it's called SA, um, I've never been there so I don't know. Um, basically, women will take pictures of themselves, put them up there, um, and they will ask men to pay or give them a certain allotment, an allowance whether it's rent or a certain amount per week um, to be for their time. Uh, and they're expected to, uh, the men are expected to take the women out for dinner, dates. Um, the men in return get pleasure, bedroom fun. Um, uh, ages range all over the place. Uh, from what I understand, it's, it's a pretty expensive, I'm going to call it a hobby uh, for men. Because, well, if we called it legalized um, sex work or prostitution, uh, sex work is illegal in most, still in most states. It is the oldest profession, I think, in the world, probably. Um, and that just that just goes based on you know gender dynamics, uh, evolutionary, you know how humans evolved over hundreds of thousands of years and. Et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this to you, and then I'm going to give you kind of uh, my take on it. Um, Shrinking has made me less trusting in relationships, or to be more accurate, it has opened my eyes to how untrusting I should have been all along. Now, I'm going to point this out. This woman, a woman who wrote this, she is a, what they call a sugar baby, and the men are a sugar daddy. Daddy pays the bills. I don't... I, and I know I, I'm not trying to make the correlation to this woman has daddy issues. I'm just telling you what the terms are, the terms of agreement. Um, so basically, men pay her for her time, her promiscuity, her... Uh, that's about youth, beauty. Um, men and women usually don't have a lot necessarily to talk about. We don't typically share common interests across uh, genders. Um, other than procreation. That's, uh, I mean, it all boils down to that. Um, with the exception of some people will, depending on your, depending on your interests, like you might, you know, you might find a girl and, and you, you both are into Grand Theft Auto. Like, and that might be the extent of it. Or you're both into psychology. Um, but it's a, it's a really, really small, narrow window. Um, Whereas, you know, you have two girls and they're, they're both into makeup. They're both into shopping. They're both into the Kardashians, you know, how big their rear end is. They're both into Victoria's Secret. They're both into... Men and women don't share that many commonalities, like, across the spectrum. Except for procreation. Um, <clears throat> my personal rule is firm. No cheaters. Anyone who is married, 
who reveals themselves at MNG, which means meet and greet, um, that they aren't as unmarried as their profile indicates or as happened on meet and greet last night, reveals they are unsuspecting committed girlfriend gets immediate pass. Um, so this girl is saying that she doesn't want anyone that's a cheater, married, or has a girlfriend. Okay, I can agree with that, being married. Like, I I get, I under, totally understand that. Um, I don't think, I, I don't, honestly, I don't think anyone wants that. Um, mulling over last night's experience, I realized that the, the longer I spend in the sugar community, the less trusting I become of future vanilla partners. I'm not sure exactly what a vanilla partner is. I'm assuming that means less trusting of white guys. I'm assuming vanilla means you're white. Unless vanilla is supposed to mean boring. But vanilla is kind of delicious, even though I think it comes, the flavoring extract comes from like like a beaver's butthole excretes. Um, I digress. Uh, so sh- this girl's saying that so she is essentially a prostitute or a whore. And the longer she stays a whore, she is, um, she's no longer trusting of, um, white guys. Um, I feel like there should be a pause or a silence there. Like we're, like we just got done singing the national anthem. Um, Shrigging has opened my eyes to just how little people can actually be trusted. You're a whore. Seeing in real time just how many men are fine with sleeping around on their wives or girlfriends is equal parts eludicating and appalling. So this woman is using her body to extract resources um, from men. Okay. Otherwise... She would have just gone and got a boyfriend. Why can't... Why is this woman selling herself? Because that's exactly what she's doing. She's selling herself um, instead of just going to get a boyfriend. I don't know how old she is. Um, I'm going to assume she's on the younger side because most sugar babies appear to be on the younger side. Um, But she's selling herself for his time. Um, well, no, I should say selling herself for his money and he's buying her time and intimacy. That's all. Okay. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not condoning it. I'm not not condoning it. Personally, I don't care what you guys do. I'm just reading an article that I thought was interesting. Um, I'm curious if others have found themselves having similar thoughts after seeing all the all the married profiles on offer. Uh, so, and that and that was the end of it. A gentleman had commented. Um, this is like the top pinned comment. So that's the only reason I'm reading it. His name is Gemini Fox, a sugar daddy. Had this to say: If you're a debt collector, the whole world seems like they're broke. It's a pretty good point, right? Um, The point is by sugaring, you're exposing yourself to a large subset of men who are by definition are more sexually promiscuous. That's all of men. Until you reach a certain age, um, men have nine times the um, sex drive of women. So technically, I guess that would be all men. Uh, but at, at a, like at, you get to a certain point where it starts slowly declining because your testosterone's your teto- bleh, testosterone level declines as a man um so at some point you just go like uh, the hell with it it's not that important you know i don't need to get off once a day every two days every three days once a month you know maybe maybe my birthday is just just fine as you hit like 60 you know it, it slowly declines over time um and you're extrapolating that characteristics to all men but all men aren't on SA. Oh, it is on SA. Okay, so the website's called SA. I don't know what SA stands for. I don't know if it's an acronym or if someone was just like, yeah, it's not like a good website. Not all men sugar. That is true. Um, again, I've never been there, so I don't know. Um, 
I think this is also why escorts end up having such low opinions of men so frequently. Uh, their sample set is skewed to exclude, include a higher percentage of liars and skis balls. Um, the same, the same exact thing would probably happen if you worked in prison. Um, yeah, I could see that. If you worked in prison, you would say, you know, um, I don't know. Um, it can make you jaded, distrustful, angry. If that, if that happens, I would think it's best for you to get out and surround yourself with better people who can help you restore your faith in humanity. That's actually, you know, it's a valid point. You are the sum of the five people you surround yourself with. So if, if, if the people, so, so, so think about this, right? She goes to a, she goes to a barbecue or a family cookout and people are going, you know, um, what do you do for work? She can't tell them. She can't be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a prostitute on the weekends and then I drive for Uber Monday through Friday. Uh, be crickets, right? So thus you'd have to go, she would have to spend her time with, I'm going to call women of the evening, just so I can kind of fluff it up a little bit. Um, she would have to spend her time with other like-minded individuals. Humans tend to do that. We gravitate towards people of like-minded things. Doctors, lawyers, attorneys, accountants, like they have their group. People that are really into the patriots have their group. Um, you know, people, people kind of gravitate, or I should say migrate towards, you know, one another of, of common interest and intellect. Um, so she could just be surrounding herself with the wrong people. And then on top of that, she's selling herself. Um, to my point, and you, can, you guys can disagree, I kind of see it as a double standard. I really see it as a double standard. Um... A whore calling a man a cheat just seems like a double standard. Uh, so, and this has been proven time and time again. This is like an evo- evolutionary psychology kind of thing. Um, women have always been known for their, sorry, men have always been valued for their resources. Um, you know, Hunter, hunter, gatherer, um, provisioning, protection, shelter. You guys get it? They're resources. It's the only reason why men have value. Um, women, on the other hand, have been valued for their youth, beauty, promiscuity, um, uh, being able to have chi- children, um, child rearing. Um, you know, men shoot off. You know the the sperm is cheap. You know it's you know men go through millions and millions of them. They could essentially have as many kids as women would line up to have kids with them. Whereas a woman, uh, based on ovulation cycle, is limited. Um, a, a woman's eggs definitely have a much higher value. Okay, which is where, which is why youth and beauty, um, and not being a whore kind of come into that's what gives a woman a value um men don't care about your education they don't care about you know if you have a bachelor's degree in gender studies men do not care in fact there's actually a correlation to um the higher an iq the higher on the iq scale a woman is even by one standard deviation which is about 15 points um there's there's a huge huge likelihood that they will probably die alone um, or they will never find a man to marry. Um, it, it, it's just it's just the way it works. Um, uh, let me see. So here's what we're looking at. We're looking at a a woman's value, right? Is her just? I'm just going to sum it up by her lady parts. Okay. That's her value. The man's value is his money. Okay? It's not his man parts. It's his money. So the only reason she's doing this is because she can charge an egregious amount of money for her time. 
a thousand, two thousand dollars, you know, and it's going to take her, it's going to take two hours a month, four hours a month, way more than she can actually make with her gender studies degree. Okay. So he's trading his money for her lady parts, whether it's wrong, right, that's not the point. It is, it is just a trade. That's all it is. Men and women have always done this. That's why we have kids. That's why we exist. Everything in uh, modern times has been built by a man in the pursuit of women. Think about it. Even the, even the phone I'm talking to you on right now was built by a man in the pursuit of women. Men invent things to gain resources to then acquire women and offspring. If that wasn't the case, um, we'd probably still be living in caves and uh, all the women and children would be dead because there would be no resources. Because men would just go, "Eh, oh. Yeah. And we wouldn't have nice things. We wouldn't have lights, electricity. Um cars, um, really anything, buildings, roofs, um, yeah. Um, and if we pull, if we look at this a little deeper, I just, I keep referring back to my notes. Um, if we pull back on the veil on this, so, um, I don't know, I don't know if the guy she's talking about is, um, if he is married, but let's say he's married. So, the woman he's married to promised him, you know, soup to nuts, gave him all the bedroom pleasure and fun, um, got the ring. She did everything, everything that he could possibly desire. I mean, it was like it's kind of a bait and switch, right? Um, or if you're a fisherman, fish on, you know, and she's over here like... I got him. She got him. She got the ring. Stopped. Stopped putting out. I'm not saying all women do this. I'm just saying the the gentleman in question, his wife or partner, stopped putting out. Again, men have nine times the sexual, I'm going to call it energy, than women. Chances are she has been denying him left and right. She's already got all the resources. She no longer has to give up her resources for his, right? She she did that. She front-loaded the equation. <clears throat> and now she gets to reap the benefits. And then if he's like, ah, I'm, I'm all done, she still gets to reap the benefits. He still is left holding the bag, right? It's like um, kind of like when you buy the dip on a stock and you're like, oh, I'm, it's going to go to the moon. And then it drops and plummets. You're stuck there. You're stuck there holding the bag. So it's, he gets to keep, you know, somewhat his resources, stay married or stay in the relationship with uh, this woman that, that basically has him locked down, ball and chain. But he still has to, like men have to release that, that desire. If the woman's, if the woman's fighting him tooth and nail, um, and now we have a thing called marriage rape, uh, where I guess you can, I don't know, I didn't even know that was a thing that you could force your wife into sex and then be like prosecuted for it. So like, he's got, what's, what's, so what's he going to do? Well, was like, I mean, I guess there's a couple things he could do. He could go, you know, um, spank the Johnson, uh, you know, I, yeah, I suppose that's an option, but if, if he wants that. There's a certain level of, I'm going to say, intimacy and female energy. Um, just like women, sometimes they need male energy. Well, I, I should say a lot of times they need male energy. Just like men need female energy. It's just, there's there's a component to it that you need. Uh, so this guy, obviously, he went out and, yes, he stepped out on his marriage because his his wife wouldn't put out, or girlfriend, or whoever, wouldn't put out again. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Personally, I don't care what you do with your your life. Um, 
and now he's he's looking to exchange more of his resources something he knows he is kn- like hey look this works this method works the problem is i just can't commit to it so if we pull back the veil all right because that's what i'm going to call it she is going all right if Like, this man's off the table, right? She knows that he's not going to get a divorce. She knows that he's probably not going to get a divorce. If he does get a divorce, then he's not going to be as well off as he is then, right? She is going to do everything she can to uh, lock this guy down. He's already locked down. So there's no upside benefit to her. It's literally just, uh, here's $1,000. Now give me two hours every time. And that's where it ends. There's no, there's no future, there's like, there's no compounding interest in that. If you guys are catching my drift, um, it ends. It's just a, it's just a, like, I don't know. It's kind of like uh, if you were to buy a bar of gold, right? It's, it's at the same level as it has been since 1977. It doesn't necessarily go up or down, right? Uh that's that's kind of what's going on. A lot of women will get into uh, sugaring because maybe they don't want to go flip burgers at Burger King. Maybe they don't have a degree that pays six figures a year. So instead, they'll they're like, all right, you know, I got I got fifty guys. I got to slay. I, I got to go crush it. I have to sleep with fifty guys this year at two thousand dollars a pop. I'll make a hundred thousand cash in the bank. I'll be able to get X, Y, and Z. I'll be able to support my kids. Whatever, whatever the reason is, um, I can finally go take that that trip to Italy. Obviously, you can't go buy a house, but um, it, it's just it's extrapolating resources. Women have done this from the beginning of time, just like men have gone in, you know built stuff from the beginning of time it's just how evolution works now again let's go back to this guy's already taken right so she knows she can't extrapolate any more resources why isn't she going to look for a boyfriend because the boyfriend is not going to like if we flip the script the boyfriend is not going to be like he, he's just going to want to be like hey you know, you want to go to the movies, and then we'll go watch, or we'll go watch some Netflix. I'll order Domino's, and then like let's go to some bedroom fun. And this girl's like, mm, no, like my rent's due, my car payments due, and my CLK on my Benz. Uh, I can't get that Gucci purse by watching Netflix. Like unless you're not paying for it, then you ain't getting it. So let's make that very clear, right? Um, the moral of the story is don't be a hypocrite. So, because if she wanted to, she could go find a John. She could give him all the bedroom fun with no, you know, uh, uh, with no, with, with no promise of a future. It, it's a, it's a risk. So a lot of women are just saying, I'm not going to get married. I'm just, I mean, some women actually are married and they're on SA, um, judging by some of these some of the posts that are on there. Um, uh, but women are just going, I, I, need, I need the resources. I'll use my resources to get their resources. It's just a transaction. Um, I don't know. You guys, you guys can tell me what you think. The more men who are married looking for outside exposure kind of lessens the market for marriageable men. Because women want the three sixes. Six pack, six feet tall, six figures. Okay. Ask any woman. Some of them will be like, no, no, I just want a nice guy. That's not true because the nice guy has been chasing you since junior high. Okay. He's an accountant. Um, he's frugal. He's got his he's got his life together, and you have not wanted him because he's not fun and exciting, and he doesn't carry any of the the three dark triad traits. Okay. So. Don't tell me you want the nice guy. Don't tell me you'd settle for the guy who's 5'8". Because chances are you probably won't. Um, yeah, so you guys can tell me what you think. Um, 
lesson here is I guess just don't be a hypocrite. If this lady really doesn't want a guy who is uh, married in a committed relationship, then she should probably just go get a boyfriend. Or uh, you can do what the uh, all the TikTok girls are doing and go to the gas station at 5 a.m. to get you a, uh, a real country man, a real... Uh, you know, blue collar worker, because that's what all the that's what all the the, the TikTokers want to do now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments, and um, I guess follow along for some more. I'll try to make some more of these. Okay.